Hey Ranger Nation, welcome back to another video. So, um, it's Power Ranger Music... Uh, so it's Power Ranger Movie News. There, we go. Why did I want to say music news? Um, first of all, I apologize for the bad lighting. It's quite still early in the UK. And as soon as it got light, it got really, really dark because weather and the UK sucks at weather right now. So it looks pretty much like it's four in the morning. So some news was dropped earlier today and I have to read from my phone because I will say this, Hollywood Reporter, your website sucks because when trying to read anything on your website, all I get is this giant advertisement for whatever and it completely just destroys the entire thing. I tried on a few browsers. So I'm gonna look at my phones. So basically the whole idea of this is a, uh, Paramount and Hasbro are putting together a film. Um, obviously, I think their film company is it called like AllSpark for hence Transformers and stuff. Um, so effectively, all this is happening, and we could be getting a movie in 2021, late, like kind of near the end of the year, or 2020. So this is a major big thing, but but they're adding the element uh, the element of time travel and. I don't know if that's a good thing. Now, I know Hyperforce did it very well, but they had a lot of help with it, I think. We know what happens when it comes to uh, film companies, the element of time travel. Now, the story of this is basically teenagers get sent back to the 1990s and they've got to get back home somehow. I have a feeling, and I hope I am not right on this one, but I have a feeling it may go down the road of the 20, uh, 2017 film uh, where we won't see them morph like, or we'll see them morph like really at the far end, but uh, near the end of the film, if, if you know what I mean. So I kind of think this is gonna happen. Um, I, I generally hope it doesn't, but I can see it happening like, oh my God, guys, you know, we have to morph to get back. Well, Rangers, you have to become Power Rangers and, and stuff like that. And I hope it doesn't, if it's set in the canon, universe i really hope it doesn't affect like the past like maybe that the rangers knew about it but zordon and alpha wouldn't talk about it but i'm getting ahead of myself i'm gonna be making a proper video on this much later on when i've kind of thought of these things so the article basically says that we've got the kind of director uh so the filmmaker best known for the creating the series the end of the effing world uh, is taking on the power rangers a new vision of the colorful family uh, adventure franchise that set up Paramount Pictures. So the guy is called, it's Jonathan S. Entwistle. I think I got that right. I apologize if I didn't. He's gonna be kind of like in charge of, of doing stuff. Um, and then it's just basically the whole article, which we link down below, uh, basically just says, now in Paramount's court, Rangers is getting rebooted once more in the way that hopes to bring the franchise to its roots. The story is said to involve a time travel element that brings the kids back to 1990s and in the back to the future fashion. They have to find a way back to their present. Uh, Patrick Burle, I can't even say his name, I can't even say his name, Patrick uh, Burle, um, who wrote the upcoming Peter Rabbit 2, The Runaway, is penning the script. So at the end of the effing world is, is a dark comedy, apparently. I've not seen it, I've, I've seen it advertised, I saw it a while ago, I might check it out. Um, so this is kind of a thing, my kind of thoughts. I, I really don't know. I, I, I'm going to have to think about this for a while. Um, I just find it weird that you're going to uh, like add an element of time travel to it. Um, we've seen how time travel works. Like if this was set in a different time, like different continuity. So it wasn't set in the canon universe. It was set in a different like say like kind of multiverse. I could understand it because there's quite a few of them. 100% all on board. I just think that when directors get on board with this, they instantly turn around and go, oh, well, what we're gonna do is we're going to like do some time travel. We're not gonna watch the past. We're not gonna do anything. And they jump this, they dump this and they do it. And then they go, oh, why, why, why didn't fans like this? It's not my fault, it's your fault. We've seen that a lot. So, but I'm hoping that this is gonna take some time, but they're actually gonna look into the past of the franchise, maybe look at some of the hyperforce. So maybe that, you know, it could be the fact that something happens. Like, oh, can you imagine that they digitally do like Jason's face from the, the old days onto it, onto like a young actor's body? I think that'd be kind of really weird. Now I'm hoping that they'll have lots of cameos in this. Like maybe you'd have the 
the original five and then add Tommy, then obviously that can be done. You can have Zordon and Alpha. That would be interesting. You know, are they going to rebuild the set exactly like the, the old days? You know, there's a lot of stuff that they could do and there's a lot of things that we kind of need to kind of really talk about in a, in a future video. Like the article does say how much like the Lionsgate film uh, spent and then how much they made back and it, it wasn't as great as it was. And to be fair, it wasn't that great. Um, yeah, so jumping over to Twitter to Power Rangers now, basically they say that uh, can confirm that this is true. The script has been complete for months. Hasbro is targeting a late 2021 uh, potentially early 22 release, which is fine. I can understand that. Um, I don't expect it to be in January 1st. Power Ranger film. If they did, dear God, that was that was quick. Um, so I, I, I trust Michael on this one. Uh, someone asked him, um, Power Rangers is now. I uh, would love to hear your per personal thoughts on this, uh, Michael. Um, and he goes like, my only thought is fans need to accept and change like time travel. The last film flopped. You can't expect millions more without major tweaks. I know folks will read the new script and thought it was good. I've liked what they've shared because that I'm a wait and see mode. So I understand. I'm open. I am 100% open to this. I just want them to get this right. And if they're going to do a whole franchise, that'd be cool. Now, my kind of quick thoughts that I'm going to add to this is I would have preferred that if they were having like a new season, maybe start that off and then like kind of hint at it um, or they could do a lot of people want like a shattered grid event um, if you were to have a shattered grid event I would only want to have how do I say like the elements of past rangers coming back as they are now I think that would be kind of cool but I don't know if this will do it we'll, we'll talk about it in a much later video when I've kind of really put my thoughts down to paper um, but yeah to be fair it's going to be better than what we've had originally. I will probably get at that because I think Hasbro are going to take a lot of time into this one. I think that they will spend time, well, they have for months, they've written the script, so it's just kind of going over it. So, I, I lots of things, lots of things. It's just, I'm, I'm rambling now. Anyway, Ranger Nation, what are your thoughts on this? Do you like the thought of this Power Ranger film? Do you want a time travel element? How would you do it? Because obviously they're going to be going back to the 1990s. Now, question is, because it's going back. Let's have a quick look back at the article. I forgot it's on the thing. So the 1990s, it couldn't mean any part of the Power Rangers from the 90s upwards until 2000. So that's going to be kind of really cool. Is this going to be a thing that they're going to do? Is this going to, there you go, more like, um, is this going to be a thing that isn't back to Mighty Morphing? Could they go back to Time Force? Could they, they, See, there's so much because it, it's vague. It's the 1990s. So I'm kind of going to go over this a lot more and kind of write it up and film in a few days or possibly whenever. Um, so yeah, that's my kind of thoughts on this. So Ranger Nation, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think that they're going to go back in time to Mighty Morphing? Do you think they'll go back to Zeo? Do you think they'll go to Time Force? What do you think? Maybe it could be a Time Force thing. That would be kind of cool. Maybe the, the kids accidentally get into Time Force and get sent back to the 1990s. That would be cool. Oh, that would be awesome. I kind of like that. So, Ranger Nation, I'm going to leave it there. Leave your thoughts down below what you think this is. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? What are your thoughts? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you've enjoyed this video, then hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you check that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. And hopefully the UK will get lighter, and it possibly is. I look a mess. I don't care. I just want to get this video out. Anyway, Ranger Nation, I'll see you in the next video.